G'day, g'day. So today I'd like to have a chat about the update for the GoPro Hero 8 and its uh, ability to now be a webcam. I'd also like to have a chat about how you can get that to work with OBS or how you could get that to work with the ATM Mini Pro because uh, obviously you can't connect this directly to the ATM Mini so uh, there has to be a little bit of a workaround and I think I've found a way. So the first thing you're going to need to do is update your GoPro to the latest firmware. Um, there's plenty of videos on how to do that out there, so I'm not going to show you that. But once you've done that, you do need to head over to a website and grab a, another piece of software that helps make everything talk. So uh, we'll head there now. You can have a look. And this is the website. I'm going to leave a link to um, this in uh, the description of the video as to where you can go, but this is the best. There's sort of a few different links that I've seen, but this is the one that will get you to where you actually need to go. And if you just uh, come down, you'll start off here. If you just come down, this is the part that you want to really look at here. You want, obviously, to do the manual update or by your GoPro app, however you want to do that, and then go to and grab this GoPro webcam desktop utility. And that little piece of software is going to be basically like the bridge between the GoPro and your computer so that uh, they can talk together and you can use your GoPro as a webcam. There's a few settings and stuff that also you can change in that particular uh, little app. When it's installed, um, it will appear up here as a little GoPro. And uh, these are the options that you have. So you have uh, the options to have the wide lens, the narrow lens, or the linear lens. You can pause it. The preferences, there's not much in the preferences at this point. Uh, and uh, all that's in the preferences are this little switch between 720 or 1080p. And 1080 is obviously the one that you're going to go for in this particular circumstance. Okay, so once you've got all this installed, uh, you do need to obviously uh, plug the GoPro in with your uh, USB-C cable. Uh, you can use the one that comes with it, or you can use an actual USB-C to USB-C if you have one lying around, like you'd use on your Mac. Um, and you plug it in, and obviously on the front here, you're going to see a little message come up. Now, so one of the things you will have to do is change some of the settings in the GoPro camera itself. Uh, I'll show you that right now. Once you've got those settings changed, uh, you're ready to go. Plug in a USB-C cable, and on the front you should see it come up as webcam, and then let's have a look at what we can do to our software in order to get this thing to uh, show up. Okay, so we'll start with um, OBS. Okay, so in OBS, basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to add a new video device. Now I've already added one here, but we'll do one again just for the sake of it. So click Add go to video capture device. Uh, you can name it what you want. So I'll write test for now. Hit OK. And in here, you're going to choose, uh, and you'll see there the GoPro webcam from um, the connection there. GoPro webcam. Um, always find one of the things that happens with me in OBS is that sometimes I have to turn off and on the use preset button just to get it to work. So um, I'll click it on to get it to turn on sometimes. It just, it just sometimes it just plays, doesn't play ball. And then I'll just click it back off again and then I can go in and set my own settings here and pick my frame rate and then bang, up it comes 1080 and the frame rate that you've got, click OK. And there now is my video. Now I've obviously got two instances of that uh, happening there, but this is the one that I've been uh, I had set up earlier, so I've just called it GoPro. One of the things that I noticed straight off the bat, and it's a bit of a downside for this, is that it's very much just a webcam and that's it. There's no settings that you can change much at all in the camera. You can change uh, the size of the lens, so I can go up to uh, my lap up here, go to digital lens, I'm on narrow at the moment, which obviously cuts down the field of view a little bit. Um, I can change that to wide, and you're going to see all the crap that's probably lying around my room. Da da da, and my light, and so forth. 
or I can go back and choose the linear lens, which is a little bit narrower, but uh, it, it tends to get rid of the fisheye thing that you get sometimes with uh, GoPro footage. And, but I've found for what I need at the moment, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick to the narrow, so I've got a nice sort of tight field of view for where I am. But that's it. There's no other camera settings what all, uh, whatsoever that you can change. You can't change the ISO, you can't change uh, any of the frame rates or anything from in, in the camera, because as soon as you will pick this up and switch to here, as soon as you uh, use this as a web camera, you click on the back, it comes up with webcam written across the top and the battery life, but you can't do anything with the camera. You can't change any of the settings. You can't do anything. So that presents a couple of problems when you're doing video. And one of the biggest problems that I see straight away is if you have a look over in these dark areas, like I'm lit quite well, but if you have a look in some of these darker areas here, you'll notice, particularly say where this door is, you'll start to notice that there's a lot of noise coming in because I've got this lit, looks, fine for this camera, um, you know, got plenty, plenty of light, um, the background's quite dark, and I've got, you know, I've got a key light on me, and I have, it, I have a light coming from behind me as well, so I've got plenty of light, but it's just not quite enough for the GoPro. And I'm still getting this sort of, you know, noise, and particularly in the darks and the shadows and the blacks, I'm getting this noise. And because you can't change any of the settings, you can't adjust the ISO, you can't adjust those things that would normally, and even the shutter speed you can't adjust, so you can't adjust the things that we would normally use as a videographer. So you can't adjust the things that you would normally use as a videographer to adjust and play with how much light is coming into the camera, so you can't adjust the gain. It's just all, I believe, all just auto settings and I can't change the color settings. I can't, I can't use any of the features of the GoPro that you would use for video at all whilst I'm using the webcam. I just have to put it up there, suck it up and see. Now, you can obviously go into OBS and go a little bit further and use uh, some of the, you know, the coloring and the different bits and pieces that are in the back end of OBS. But if you're gonna use something like the ATM Mini Pro, which I'll show you in a second, you can't change the color on that particular video feed at all. So you can't, there's, there's just, it's just very, very limited at this point. So while it is very cool that you can now just uh, click in a, a USB-C cable and bam, you're up and running and you have a webcam, which um, by all means is a great webcam and uh, would, would more than do the job for, you know, small picture and picture down in the corner or, or something along those lines. It just doesn't really cut it as far as being an awesome video tool. And I'm hoping that since this is only sort of early stages for GoPro and their webcam stuff, that maybe uh, down the track they might start adding a few more features so that we can actually use, um, you know, change some settings in the camera, at least with the software, because it just sort of, it doesn't make a great deal of sense. Anyway, that's my biggest gripe with it. Uh, I really like the idea. It looks quite cool in there. It's just obviously that noise. So in, if it was heaps and heaps of light in here in a bright room, it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, it's just that when you're trying to do something that's, you know, lit a little bit more like, you know, like what you see here in this kind of a camera shot, um, there's just not enough light for the GoPro sensor. So, all right. Anyway, that's how you get it to go in OBS. Uh, you know, hit me up if you've got any questions on any of it. I know I've, I've done it very quickly. I've gone very over the top very quick. I'm not going in depth with this. I just wanted to show you that it can be done. Now, let's have a look at getting it into the ATM Mini. Now, what the way that I've decided to go about this, I decided to use QuickTime. And I'm using a HDMI cable uh, plugged in to my Mac. So I actually have an HDMI running out of the Mac into the ATM uh, Mini, and I could probably quickly show you that here. So I've got, there's my ATM, and I've got my camera. Uh, this is my PlayStation, so don't worry about that one. And this one here is running from the computer, which is coming out of this plug right here. So I've got USB uh, C to uh, HDMI, and then coming back over here, 
that's running into in into the ATM Mini. So the the GoPro itself isn't actually running into <coughs> um, the ATM at all. It's running through the computer as you would normally set it up as a webcam. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the movie recorder in QuickTime Player and I'm then setting my webcam. If I click on this little triangle just here, I can choose the GoPro webcam uh, just there. Or I can have my, obviously my, <coughs> you know, the one that's in my, in my computer as well. So I just select the GoPro in there and then uh, I can go full screen on this. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice straight away is down, whoops, down in this bottom corner, if I move my mouse at all, the controls show up. Bit of a pain. What I found, if you move your mouse off the screen, so I've got this set up as a third monitor for me, but if I move it off the screen, then those controls disappear and they don't show up again if I'm moving my mouse around. If I'm here and I've got the mouse on this screen and I move um, the cursor around, these constantly keep popping up. So if you just zip over to your next window, there's now uh, the shot of the Gi GoPro uh, sitting right there, and I can pick that up and walk around. Oh, geez, that didn't look real great. I have noticed a little bit of this sort of uh, hiccupy glitchiness happening with the GoPro feed in here, and I'm not sure if it is um, the USB cable that I'm using, because I've got a USB um, 3 to USB-C, and I believe that that could be part of the problem as to why this glitchy thing's happening because I didn't notice that glitch before when I used a USB-C cable to USB-C. And uh, when I did that though, unfortunately my USB-C cable is about this short and I do not have one long enough to be able to sort of do this <laughs> little example here. So I went with uh, this other cable for the time being. So I think that may be the cause. I think it might be bottlenecking um, the speed a little bit. Okay, so um, now that I have uh, full screen, I can now switch on my ATM. I can go from my GoPro there to my main camera and back again. What I am keen to just test out, which I'm going to, I'm not going to know now that I'm recording this, um, this video, but I am going to know when I get it into post, is how much of a latency that this might cause, because there's already a little bit of latency coming from the camera, the GoPro going into the computer uh, in the first place. So there's there's a, a very small, probably, you know, five millisecond delay going from just straight into the camera. And then I'm then running it out of the computer via HDMI. All HDMI uh, creates some sort of latency. So I'm uh, running the audio right now off a microphone that is plugged into this camera that I'm using right now that I'm shooting on. And the audio from this video footage is coming from the microphone that's plugged into the camera. So what you tend to find is that that syncs very well with the audio, uh, with the video footage, sorry, that's coming from the camera because um, they're coming down the HDMI cable together. So I'm not running that audio into an audio input on the ATM. I'm running it into the camera and I found that that syncs the audio much better. But... Having said that, because I now have the GoPro footage going, I'm not really sure, and I and I, I can kind of see it on the computer right now, so I'm gathering it's going to be there, but I'm pretty sure that I would have to somehow compensate um, with uh, the footage on here to get the audio to line up from that camera with the GoPro footage. And I'm not sure if we're ab actually able to do that live, because obviously, if I delay the audio on the uh, initial camera, then it's gonna go out of sync with the video footage that's on the initial camera, and I don't think that will work. So I haven't got a, 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 a way around that live yet, but if you are gonna be doing recording, which is like what I'm doing right now, I'm actually recording this to the disc, then obviously I can go in and post and I can move my, nudge my audio across so that it lines up with the video footage of the GoPro. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see how big that is. I will, uh, right here, I'm going to put, right now, I'll leave a gap for it, but I'm going to put down here the result 
of you know how far out the latency was and I'm going to use this clap as a way of testing it. So there's my test down there. That's the result of how we went with our latency and how far I had to move it. So yeah, uh, I definitely know it'll be there. So um, that will obviously tell you how much. Cool, so that's uh, basically how I'm going about getting my GoPro footage into my ATM. I can't obviously plug it directly into the ATM. Uh, I don't have the media mod. Uh, so, And that's actually a quick point I would like to make. You don't actually need the media mod on the GoPro to be able to use it as a webcam. It's literally coming, uh, I'll just take that off, it's literally coming straight out of the USB-C port, straight into the computer, and with that little piece of software that you saw before, this obviously they're the two things you need. So you need cable and that, you're off and running, and uh, you do not need Need the media mod for this to work. So anyway, that's how you use the GoPro as a webcam and run it through either the ATM or you can run it into OBS. You can use it also for Skype and um, you can also use it for Zoom. And uh, it's, it's really just done the same way. You just select it as a webcam and then off you go. So if you've already got a GoPro Hero 8 and you haven't got a webcam, then this is a really good little alternative just note that you will need a lot of light. So the more light you can uh, give yourself in front of um, the GoPro, the better it's gonna look. And um, yeah, that is definitely something to consider because it does not handle this kind of studio lighting um, where I've kind of got it set up directly. It, may, it doesn't handle it as well as obviously my DSLR does if you're looking at that straight away. So <laughs> definitely uh, something to consider if you're going to use it as a webcam is just make sure you're in a really, really well lit room, preferably daylight if you can do it in daylight or you know just turn every light on possible that you've got in the house and go for it. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that little video. Uh, if you've got any questions, please hit me up, leave a comment. I always answer all my, uh, you know, questions and comments and stuff that I get if I can. You know, like, subscribe, do all that, you know, YouTube-y weird stuff that, you know, everyone asks you and begs you to do. You know, if, if you want to, go for it. And, uh, you know, don't be a dick. Pretty simple. Later!